Okay, uh, just finished practice tonight. Um, you know, had meetings today and kind of reviewed the film, and obviously, you know, we're still a work in progress somewhat and trying to get better. Uh, a lot of things to learn, I think, from that game. Um, didn't play our best, obviously, really at any position, but at the end of the day, um, I think for us, we gotta we got to just go to work, try to improve every day. Um, I believe in our guys, and I know they believe in each other, and, you know, we'll, we'll get better as the year goes. We're not where we want to be yet, but at the same time, I think there's a lot of positives um, that we can take from the game. At the end of the day, we won and uh, got an SEC win, which is never never something to, uh, to not appreciate. So our guys are, uh, you know, we were real with them today in our meetings about what we have to do to improve, but at the same time, we're, we're happy to win. And, you know, moving forward, get a chance to play home again, which is uh, which is going to be uh, another great experience. Our guys really enjoy that, and uh, hopefully, we'll continue to improve. And uh, I still like the way uh, this team's headed. You know, as far as on offense goes, and just got some young guys that need to grow up. And uh, I think you'll see a lot of progress as the year goes. How, how did Nick Bond do his first start? Uh, I thought he had was positive. I thought he did some good things. He made some uh, a few mistakes here and there, like anybody would in their first start, first um, big play in time, and. Uh, but really pleased. I think the future's bright for Nick, and uh, you know I like I like a lot of the things he did. Just like I said, he needs more game reps, to continue to get that experience. You'd like him to continue in his role now. I think so. I mean, we'll we'll still always obviously you know have competition in practice. Coach Grimes does a great job rotating our guys. You know uh, we do rotate guys during practice and and let those guys get reps at different times. So, uh, but right now that kind of that's our plan. Well, with the young guys with, with the struggles you've had, mm -hmm. particularly. Yep. Do you, do you look at some of the other young guys? Yeah, there's always always a possibility for sure. Um, you know, the one of the benefits we do have is we get to see them every day in practice. So we we got a really good, I think, feeling of, of where they are in their in their um, progression, so to speak, and uh, kind of what their what their knowledge is of what we're trying to do and the different things we could see each week. But at the end of the day, you know, we got to put the guys on the field to give us the best chance to win. And right now, we, we feel we feel like we got that. Was Mark Kellerell sort of taking? You know, he was bang, he's banged up a little. But, I mean, you know, at this time of the year, nobody's really 100% anymore. You know, everybody's got nicks and bruises and things you have to fight through uh, every position. So, but, yes, he's one of our older guys, and he's a tough guy. So, he's going to be in there, uh, you know, as much as he possibly can. What were you able to see from Nick from week four that made you realize, okay, we want to put him in that starting role that maybe you weren't able to see during the I think the biggest thing in practice is, uh, you know, he was, he's was he been hurt, so he hasn't got a lot of practice reps in his um, – you know, I think his conditioning level was a concern. Can he play 60, 70, 80 snaps, we hope, but, um, you know, in a full-speed game because you don't get that simulation all the time, you know, during the season. So I think we just got comfortable with uh, with with him getting stronger and, and, like I said, his conditioning getting up. And, uh, and you know, Nick's a talented guy, and so is Caleb. They both – Caleb did – he did a good job for us, and uh, he, eventually he'll, he'll have to play again, I'm sure. So we'll see how it plays out. Uh -huh. Oh, I, th I thought um, I really thought Seth did some good things from the blocking standpoint. You know, on Flash's long uh, screen, he made a really he made a really big block, key block actually that kind of sprung it. Uh, I thought Shedrick Jackson really stepped up in the role he was in. He did a great job for us on our buck sweeps, and uh, so I, I like I like that. I think I think we're going to be just fine. When you look at just some of the deficiencies you've had, the struggles you've had with the offensive line the interior, do you take a look at even just changing the approach of what you're doing offensively, doing more quick slants, things on the perimeter mm -hmm. to kind of ease things up to where you're yeah. You're not trying to be a downhill team when it doesn't seem like that might be your strength. Yeah, we're definitely always looking for ways to move the ball. We threw a lot more quick game uh, Friday night or Saturday, Friday night, Saturday than than we had in the past. Uh, so, and that was definitely, a, a, you know, it all depends on how the defense is obviously playing you. But that was one of the things we we did. I thought Jared did a nice job of completed some easy balls out there to Flash and Darius and uh, one to Sal. So, uh, that's definitely something we'll always look at. Would you say your strength right now is the quarterback and your receiver? Well, I think I think definitely, you know, anytime you got a guy like Jared Siddham, I mean, he's going to be a strength on your team for sure. Darius Slate and Ryan Davis, both are really good players. So, yeah, I'd definitely say they're they're one of our strengths for sure. You had some success running the ball to the outside, especially on that last touchdown. Yeah. Is that something you want to look at? Yeah. Bit? Yeah, you know, they were giving us a really good look to run buck sweep, and uh, so that's kind of what we adjusted and went to. Early on, we, we tried to run it without as much success, but once they started squeezing and, and uh, giving us those opportunities, I, I thought we took advantage of it. 
Yeah. Yeah, we need to. We need to. I mean, complete them obviously is, is the number one thing, and protect a little better. I think it's a combination. It's not one one group. Uh, when you when you have an inexperienced offense in certain key areas, it's going to take a little time. You know, the one thing about offense, all eleven players have to execute on a play to make it really work to like it should. And uh, I think our team's learning that, and uh, we're not quite there yet, but but we're making progress. Jim, what did you see out of, out of Jared last night? I looked at the times. So uh -huh. Obviously, the offense has you know, something to do. What, what did you see out of him last night? Um, you know, I thought when he when he had time and set his feet, I thought he did some good things. I thought, um, you know, a couple couple missed throws, a uh, couple deep balls he hits, you know, probably changes your whole you know, out, outcome on what you think, you know, as far as that goes. But, um, you know, Jared's doing fine. He's, he's got to – obviously, he's continuing to work on – on his, on his game, but you know, at the same time, you got to make sure we do everything. Or all eleven got to do their job and and give him some support around him. You mentioned you know the, the young guys are receiving mm -hmm. change on the offensive line and, and all coming together. Yep. Is that one of those things where you, when you're talking to the offense, you go, know, look, it's it's there. It's just a matter of one hundred percent. You can see it. I mean, we'll put. Uh, I'll go back to LSU. We had five good drives in that game that we did a lot of good things. I think we missed a field goal, went for it on fourth down, scored three touchdowns against a pretty good defense. Washington, same thing. We had a lot of good drives in between. If you remember, in in between the twenties, we just didn't finish in the red zone. And so there, there's a lot of lot of good things on tape there that we that we obviously. But to be really good on offense, you got to be consistent and you got to be able to do it all the time, over and over and over. And that's kind of what we're working on. Oh yeah, for sure. I mean, uh, you know, anytime, a lot of times too. What we weren't outnumbered in protection, so um, you know, there's some, there's some, there's definitely uh, some frustration there. I know we had, you know, a back miss of protection. We, you know, we got beat up front a couple times, but at the end of the day, we can't let them push the push the pocket and get in his face, and that's important that we that we try to correct that as much as we can, and I think we will. Yep. You know, it's just such a great tradition there at Southern Miss. I, I thoroughly enjoyed my time there. Um, we, we were in a, a situation there where we were trying to rebuild the program a little bit, and, um, you know, we're able to do that. It's very re rewarding. The people there love football. Great people that work at the university there. Uh, the community supports that place, and uh, they'll, they'll always be, you know, Southern Miss will play with an edge, and they'll always be ready to go. And uh, we're definitely got to have our best, our best game this week to be able to make sure that we – that we play well and, and hopefully get a W. Well, Jerry Sam was back um, working out with the, I guess, the second team mm -hmm. left guard. Yeah. How's his progress coming? Where's it sort of been? He's coming along. Um, you know, he's trying to get his – obviously, he's still working his way back in, been out some, and uh, I think he's a guy – the future's really bright. It's just a matter of keeping him healthy, and uh, he's continuing to progress. What was that again? Yeah, you know, he came in late with all the track stuff. So uh, I think for me, he's been a, a huge surprise. I mean, he's he's a more polished receiver probably than I gave him credit for. Anytime somebody's really fast, that's kind of what you what sticks out. Oh, he can really run. But can he route run? Can he catch the ball with his hands? Um, uh, he's really intelligent. He's a bright kid. Cares a lot about it. And uh, he's got he's going to be really good. I mean, there's there's no question. He's got a bright future here. And uh, I think I think he's only going to continue to get better and better. Could you ever that? Sports and yep. Seth, and you talked about Shedrick. I mean, you're playing three true freshmen. On yeah. Snaps in, in week four. Yeah. You know what? It's it's uh, it, it is a little bit of surprise, but at the same time, once we got them here on campus, and we we loved them in recruiting, but you never know until you get them here. And once we got them here, and they they all showed flashes. Uh, you know, it's one of the the bright spots of our, of our recruiting class was this receiver this receiving group was uh is all they all have a chance to be really good players and uh, and it's showing. And you know, as the season goes, they kind of don't become freshmen anymore. They kind of graduate into being a little bit seasoned or having some experience now. Four games in, I'm probably not ready to say that completely, but I like I like the direction they're headed. Three four, three, four games. How do you feel about Jack Driscoll and him making his transition to this? this yeah. Uh, I think it's been I think it's been good. I mean, he's uh, really athletic, really smart. Um, I, I think he's fit right in really well. Um, you know, he's still looking for his best game too. I mean, he's he's done some nice things, and I think he'd be the first to tell you he you know he hadn't played his best some too. But uh, we're excited, glad to have him for sure. What's the biggest thing you got to fix before you get back in SEC play? Just being more consistent. You know, uh, we will put two or three, four or five good plays together, and then have 
two plays back to back where we where we you know we we have missed assignments or we don't execute. So I think we 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 got to become more consistent in everything we're doing. It's not just the offensive line. It's quarterback. It's receiver. It's running backs and protections and you know uh, making sure their tracks the right on, on inside zone. So important that they're heading in the right direction. They can't just run freely. And so we got to do a great job as a unit overall. And uh, and I think we'll see we'll see a lot of improvement if we do. Uh huh. And on that drive, yep. y'all were going really fast, mm -hmm. mixing it up, throwing it. Mm -hmm. and, and maybe I'm too dumb to see it, but have, have you done that since? Really? Yeah, we tried. Um, to do that, you know, if you remember the other night, we, we had, uh, you know, the Schwartz throwing the screen out there. That was a tempo play. Um, you know, you got to get good first down plays to get going. That's the, I think that's the key, um, you know, because what happens is, is, if you have a uh, not, if you don't have a good play on first down, then it's it's hard for you to want to go tempo because you want to get in the right play. So, I think for us, uh, getting off to a good start, getting in rhythm, I think is a key. I feel like we're a rhythm offense at times, so we got to make sure we do that. And you know, as a coach, as a coordinator, I got to do a great job and a better job of making sure we get in rhythm, which is uh, sometimes easy and sometimes it's hard. So, uh, but you're 100% right. Once we get in rhythm, I feel like we got a chance to be pretty good. Thanks, sir. All right.